And this is episode seven with my special guest, Babat Brown, and our special pet, Juju. So um, anyway, um, I think Juju wanted to say hi to you here. So we're say hi, Juju. Ah, he says hi. Look at this. Other than he's obsessed, he knows I have a treat in my hand. Right, that's why. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, we're talking today mm -hmm. about um, having the right equipment. Yes. As a student taking a dance lesson, mm -hmm. um, dance shoes, being comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like when I take yoga classes, mm -hmm. I feel really good if I wear the right clothing. Exactly. Right. So talk to me about what do you think is a right equipment or gear for a student? You know, first and foremost, you need to wear something that you can move in and that you're comfortable in. Okay. Um, for me, it's very important that you get shoes pretty much right away because dance our shoes? dance really? shoes. Yes. Because if I'm only taking five, six, seven lessons, mm -hmm. you think I should, still should get shoes? I think that would be a great investment. The reason being is to just sit. Huh? Is he the <laughs> listen? To oh, he is. He is. So okay. the reason, the reason being it is that we have a special sole on these shoes, uh -huh. and um, you know it will prevent your your joints from jarring on the floor. I see. You will just like be. It, it will be. He wants to leave us go, now. Go, Juju. Come wherever on, you go. want to go. Yes. See you later, buddy. <laughs> so it will be much easier for you to actually you know, move, slide on the floor without being slippery and also to make little twists and turns without being stuck on the floor. That's what it's designed for. There, it, It's a special thing. It would be the equi equivalent of like if you want to learn to play golf True. and golf you take shoes, in an yeah. umbrella, you right. know, and you know, oh, it's like the same shape. I'm just hitting the golf ball with the umbrella. So we have dance shoes and that's very important. Right, like if you play soccer, you want to yes, have soccer you shoes. Yes, you want to have soccer shoes. It's a purpose. Speaking mm -hmm. of shoes, I know there's a lot of different type of dance yeah. shoes out mm -hmm. there. And um, I just want to make a point. I mean, there are some dance shoes that are, I hate to use the word, cheap. Mm -hmm. And they last for four or five lessons. Yes. So be careful when you buy dance shoes. You want to buy quality shoes. You know, you wouldn't buy a shoe that lasts you two weeks, right? Exactly. So just because you can get a dance shoe for cheap, like 40 bucks, doesn't mean it's... It's not a quality shoe, I can guarantee you, also, you, you that. You need to understand yeah. that when you're dancing, um, you know, you're using your body. It's a physical activity, so you want to protect your body. So by, by taking a good quality shoe, it also supports your foot. And if you have a person who is a little bit of knowledgeable about how to fit that shoe, because dance shoes actually fit very different than regular shoes. In what way? For example, if you take a rhythm or Latin shoe, the open toe shoes, yeah? Right. So when you stand on it, um, you should actually, your toes should be all the way to the front of the shoe. There shouldn't be like a space where there's like, you know, shoe I coming see. up in front. Right. The reason being is when you point it, you have way too much shoes left over. I see. Um, you okay. know, that, that might disturb you in your dancing. So it's quite a different fit than a regular shoe. So you might want to go to somebody who actually has a nice sortiment and um, you know who can advise you what's the right heel size what's the right shape for what speaking you want to do of, speaking of mm -hmm. heel size as a lady yes. some ladies don't like to being high heels then don't. are they okay with flat yes, shoes yes absolutely first of all you have to be comfortable you know a foot needs to be trained as well if your foot is already not comfortable you won't be comfortable dancing. So wear something, get some shoes that are comfortable for you. And then, you know, it depends on the shape of your foot and the, the way your foot is trained, whether you want to go on a higher heel or not. For example, me personally, I will never go on the highest heel. It's just not what is good for my foot. It may foot. look great, but... When I'm standing still, but I want to <laughs> move, you know? So, so I would, would you say mm -hmm. shoes are the most important part to start with, to start but then, with. you know, it's also nice to have practice wear, uh, you know, the appropriate practice wear will make you feel the part, move the part, to have a skirt on from the lady when you're dancing, to feel how the skirt moves around your legs. This is, it, it enhances the movement. It definitely uh, gives gives it a little bit, uh, you know, more right. so if professionalism. You, if, you, if you feel better, yes. you dance you better, look good, you like dance playing better. golf. Exactly. You, were, you have a great golf outfit, mm -hmm. you're in a, you have better a, a golfer. beautiful golf club, and, and that's how you go. Um, you, you, you know, same thing here. So we have our specific practice where we have, we have our shoes. Let's talk about the men, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the men 
I mm -hmm. mean, it's easy for a lady to buy all those nice skirts mm -hmm. and everything. They mm -hmm. have a lot of choices. Yes. But men, we're limited. So what do, you, what do you suggest for men in type of pants and stuff? Here's Juju. Oh, Come back, back here, Juju. Hey, Juju. That he, oh, needs, he wants, he to wants play. you to play. You want to play? Yeah. Oh, oh look at him. <laughs> come Juju. you want to come here? Juju, you want to sit? He doesn't want us to talk. Let, let him go. Let him go. <laughs> he will. He's coming back. He doesn't so want what us about to talk. the men? Uh -huh. What about the men? Uh, like, you, you know, very simple. The, when you get dance pants, for example, dance pants are made out of a material that give you room to move. There will be a little bit of like a flexible see. material with okay. it. They also cut a certain way that already make you look good. So, you know, either slacks or, you know, if you would like to do get dance pants already for your lessons, that's a good thing. The same with the shirts. The shirts are breathable. They're flexible material. Uh, they make you, you know, they help you moving and they help you right. with the physical activity and they make you look the part right. for the if dance Right, if you come floor. and wear jeans, exactly. it's not the right fit. No, jeans are a little bit hard to move in at right. many times, you know, Absolutely. and it gets hot. Correct, yeah. So I would recommend just you know, go to a dance store. Um, there are lots of vendors at the events. Um, talk to your studio. Lots of studios. Uh, One-stop shop. They have. Oh yeah, little... well, you can Google it. Yes, There's so many dance shops. section in it, right. and uh, you know, get right. yourself. We won't endorse anyone no. on this show. <laughs> okay, there you go. We're you yes. know, having the right clothing, mm -hmm. especially dance shoes, will really make you feel better on the dance floor. Yes. Thank you very much.